Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm Obita Show 21. So we got a good one right here. We finished up Season 2 of Team Affinity, which means we do have some more packs to open up. But Season 2, you know, there's definitely a lot of good cards that you can get from here. 60 diamonds overall. And just going off from like some of these flashback cards, there's some nice low-end diamonds here that are really nice. And then obviously all these higher tier diamonds that I feel like a lot of them could make your team. So just kind of breaking down in general, you know, what we finished today was the AL Central and the AL West. We did the NL East and NL Central last night, but for the Central and the West and just Team Affinity in general, we did a lot of these missions. So for like the Central and the, the West for the AL side, actually the AL West, we did use them online. But total plate appearances, we got this at least once or twice. Some of the teams or some of the divisions, we did it three or four times. That's just from naturally playing, you know, the conquest that we were doing. And then events. Events actually helped us out a lot getting some of the online missions for most of these. So this is kind of where we left off with these ones. But in general, you know, because we grinded out events, we got 42 wins in that. We were able to get a lot of the online parts of these missions. And then we did all of these missions except one. So we pretty much got, I think, 36 points just from these missions alone. Then we did the moments. This is a plus 10. I know I kind of repeat myself, but, you know, each division, we're kind of doing the same thing. The 30 from the conquest and then the collection gave us a plus 10. And then the final thing for ex exchanges, we did do some. We did do one right here for 30. I think overall, we didn't do that many, did we? I just looked at the central, right? We didn't do that many exchanges, but it, but with exchanges in general, we did 74 rated players. You know, that's the only cards that we ended up exchanging. So I didn't do any for those two AL divisions. And then I think we might have done one. No, we def Oh, we did do one right here. All right. So we did a 10 right here. And then I know I did the NL Central. I think I did two of them for the NL Central. Yeah, we did the 10 and then the 30. But again, you know, we were just exchanging 74 rated players if I can look right here so 74 a lot of these guys especially for like the central right here the NL central they were kind of cheap going for 62 so you kind of have to buy a lot of them even 60 right there is a pretty nice price but you kind of have to buy a lot of players I know for this one right here it's about 33 bronze players at 74 74 rated this one it's probably like 100 bronze players at 74 rated but if you bulk buy, you know, get 10 at a time or just put in 10 orders at a time, they kind of fly by and you, you get them eventually. And then the NL West, I don't think we did any exchanges. Yeah, no exchanges there. So all together, we did the Conquest board, all the moments, the collections for each division. I showed you the, the few exchanges that we ended up doing. And all together, we played like five showdowns. That's it. Five or six showdowns. And the rest were just from the, the other missions, you know, the tally total plate appearances and some of the online missions. So it wasn't really that bad. We definitely got by this, I think, way quicker than season one. Granted, we did do some exchanges just to save time a little bit. But overall, you know, I think it was pretty good. And again, like playing versus the CPU, what I'm basically doing is playing away versus the Rockies. I feel like, you know, playing away here is not bad because... You're playing at Coors Field. Their pitching's not the best. And honestly, I think I played um like six or seven times. I know hit them like five times. So you kind of go by quick when you're doing the pitching missions. And, you know, if you get to the point where you still got to do some hitting ones, you can go into a game, another away game. Like, for example, Damon, Johnny Damon was the last player I needed to do missions with. And I needed eight hits. I would just go in, bat with him, quit out, and repeat that cycle until we got the eight hits. So that's kind of how we approach Team Affinity Season 2 this time around. Now going on to the packs. You know, these are our final packs that we have. We have 10 Bullet as a Habit, 20 Team Affinity, and then, you know, the last of these Division ones. So starting off with the Silvers, and I will tell you guys right now, we made a bunch of stubs just from Team Affinity Season 2. So I'll go over it a little bit, but these are, you know, more stubs that are going to add to that value. But we made a ton of stubs just from grinding this out. That's why I say for no money spent people, Team Affinity is probably the one thing you wanna prioritize. Even if you go back to Team Affinity season one, you definitely wanna go and get these packs because the amount of stubs that we made just from selling duplicate cards is kinda of ridiculous. So that's why I say, you know, if you need stubs, focus on Team Affinity 
And along the way, you're also getting diamond players. You know, you're getting good cards that can fit your team and fill up your roster. So it's not like you're wasting your time and not getting anything good out of them. We got the 20 team affinity. We'll see if we pack a diamond. I kind of quick flipped that. If that was a diamond, you know, we, we would have definitely missed out on that. But team affinity, we'll see what we can do right here with these packs. And, you know, if we don't pack anything, we don't, we're, we're in a really good spot. Oh, 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 <laughs> Trevor Bauer. Eh. <laughs> nothing, nothing special. But see, you know, that's a diamond right there. A diamond that we like, and we'll definitely take that. But it's kind of a low end one, right? Another diamond right here. And okay, so, you know, one diamond's good so far. We'll see what we can get in these last 14, if they're anything good. But obviously, Trevor Bauer, kind of eh. You know, we we definitely want a little bit more expensive right there if we're pulling stuff. But still, 10K, really nice. And that's going to put us up, you know, even more in the stub category, right? So a couple bronze right there. We got 10 more to go in these ones. Bronze right there, nine left. And we'll see how this plays out. Gold in the beginning, Zach Britton. He got that daily moments card, which is going to be really, really nice, I think, for a lot of people, especially... For you guys to be able to get them for free good lefty bullpen in that daily moments program you know definitely you definitely something you guys want to be working on and doing every day so that's just that's just a reminder right there what's up with these diamond you know uniforms and stuff i want players <laughs> i just want players that's it but we'll take them you know we'll definitely take them we got britain again last three with the team affinity so overall you know the team affinity in season one, we didn't pack zero diamonds. In season two, looks like we packed three, and one of them being the Grom. So, like, the Grom being the big one, right? We got 10 ball and his habit packs left. We'll see if we can get a diamond out of these. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Give me someone good. Give me someone good. Low end, a lefty. A lefty pitcher. I don't know who this is. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Okay, Clayton Kershaw, they, they hooking us up with the Dodger love right now. We don't want that though. <laughs> we don't want that, but another 5K right there. So kind of around like 15K we made so far. Another one right there, DJ LeMahieu. We'll see if we can maybe pack another diamond in these last eight packs. We got double golds, which, you know, that's always, that's kind of nice. You know, double golds, not bad. We got six left with a ball in his habit. Then we're going to open up. The last of these and then go over some other stuff, you know, the market, kind of kind of what's going on for us for, I guess, this weekend. Because tomorrow, we got the third inning program dropping, which is just a whole lot more content to grind. So that's kind of why we wanted to finish up Team, Team Affinity Season 2 today, so we can just focus on the other stuff. But even if you guys didn't do it, like, it's kind of pointless to grind out Team Affinity when you got a whole nother program coming out when you can kind of grind them out at the same time so it's it's probably best to wait but now we got the al west last player here tory hunter and again you know we're gonna debut all these guys but i just been focused on grinding these out and getting them done that i haven't even played ranked seasons all week so there's probably gonna be a lot of double uploads probably starting on the weekend and we'll we'll debut the other five divisions that we haven't done yet. We did the NL West. That's it. But we'll get the other five in there and some of the other stuff that we haven't haven't posted yet. So a lot of gameplay is coming up. But now, you know, the biggest thing, Team Affinity. Like I said, the reason you want to do these, as always, you know, this is this is my this is my no money spent approach is the packs, right? So. Altogether, we got a crazy amount of packs. I think it's 144 team affinity packs. And then there's 42 ball and is a habit packs. So a ton of packs you can end up getting. Through all the packs we opened up, I mean, obviously the biggest one being the Grom, but minus that, we got a ton of duplicate cards. We sold everyone. I cleared out my inventory, obviously minus the new ones we got today, but I cleared out my inventory. We made over 200K from duplicate cards and then add another 161k for the grom we literally made 434k just from duplicates 434k i tallied it up so you know we made a lot we made a lot and i'll just show you guys our marketplace because obviously there's a lot of sales a lot of sales i don't even want to know how many pages this was this literally took me i feel like three hours that's that's what it felt like. It felt like three hours we passed that, but let's see. We were we were right about here. So right about here. 50 pages 
worth of selling duplicates with all that and adding the gram that was around 430k minus the gram which obviously the gram's a big one but minus the gram we still made 273k which can which can technically buy you a high diamond so team affinity you know focusing on that definitely the way wow kunya is kind of cheaper now i just saw that <laughs> i just saw that but yeah you know like if you're if you're trying to make stubs team affinity is the way just the fact that we got so much from that and we're at 454k we we also bought you know some of the new cards like those kitchen sink cards that came out tuesday right so i think we have like 200k into that and then we have another i think it's 350k into tops now and i'm thinking about it i might invest more into tops now now that we have stubs because when this program comes out i still feel like these cards are gonna hit like 12 13 14 maybe 15k so if i put like another 400k into tops now i think i think by the time the program comes out we'll e easily be at like 1.5 2 million stubs so just just food for thought right there but we're in a really good spot stub wise and then again, you know, we got the third inning program coming out tomorrow. So that's going to be big. Also, one of the bosses for the third inning got revealed. It was a Milestones Grady Sizemore. Just throwing that out there. But you definitely want to pick these guys up. I did mention this yesterday. We did invest in a couple of these. So I picked up an extra one of Lee Smith. Now he's going for 44K. I think I bought him at 35. And then Bay, you know, we bought him at another one at 34K. He's going for 45. So those two are extras. I still have all three of them that I'll probably lock in for the third inning program. And that's just for this collection right here where you can start off with 50,000 XP. So that's not bad. But with the third inning, we'll just get a lot more packs too, you know, while grinding that out. Now, one thing I'm not sure if I'm going to do is because like, I feel good with where our stubs are. I don't know if I'm going to grind this out like I normally do and try to get it done within the first day because it is a long grind. It really depends what kind of missions we get on day one. Like if they give us a showdown and a conquest, it definitely makes it a little bit easier. If we don't have this kind of stuff, then I might take my time with the program this time around. It also depends, you know, who the bosses are because if I feel like we can get like 300k from them and getting it done early, then I will do that. And that's going to that's gonna help us out also but that's pretty much it you know we made a ton of stubs with team affinity season two now obviously the next thing for us is the third inning program and then we're just going to focus on online again and try to finish up this br program because we pretty much took a break off of it this week but we're at 52 we'll try to get 100 get this reggie jackson card and you know he's going for 55k we might keep him we might not then we got Al Lider right here, 191K. And then we'll see how other stuff play out too because we still need some cards for Jackie Robinson. So if these cards maybe dip a little bit, then they are starting to dip too. They are starting to dip too. So if these cards can get down to like 30, 35K, we might pull the trigger and we'll get Jackie Robinson probably next week. And if we get Jackie Robinson... We'll probably get Mariano, I almost bought it. We might get Mariano Rivera next week also. So with the third inning program coming out this weekend, then the player of the month coming out next week and all our investments, you know, pretty much paying out, we're going to be in a really, really good spot. We should be well over a million stubs, even if we get Jackie and Mariano Rivera. So next week is going to be pretty big. Also, see, we, we still got stuff selling too. Actually, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Yeah, we still have a whole bunch of stuff still up on the market. And obviously, we're going to list the new stuff that we got. So actually, we'll be, we probably got 50K worth. Mm. Just, just from the packs we opened up, we opened up 30 packs. 10 balling is a habit, which is basically 10K. And then we got Kershaw out of that. So we'll say, we'll say 17K from the balling is a habit just for like minimum value. And then 10K for Bauer puts us to 27K. We probably got, yeah, we, we might have got 45K from those 30 packs, to be honest. I think I think we'll be at 500K. But yeah, we should be at like 500K after we sell those duplicates also. And I'm just like, we're in such a good spot right now with no money spent that I feel like we're able to do whatever we want. And we don't really have to grind <laughs> grind as much as we need to. But I still I still kind of have fun doing that. So that's why we're, we're keeping up with that. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know how you guys are doing right now with Team Affinity Season 2, where you guys are at, and also what you guys are working on right now. But until the next one, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.